The Seattle waterfront is bustling with people, attractions, and energy, hosting millions of visitors each year. And the team at LMN Architects set out to achieve something bold, building a massive aquarium ocean pavilion in the middle of it all. Can you imagine that when we started, there used to be a double-decker highway that went right through our site. The city knew it was coming down, so they started working on this new waterfront for the city. And this site was one of the most important sites that they had on that new waterfront. And it was really a statement of values for the city of Seattle to put a conservation organization right here at the most important part of our new waterfront. So I would imagine a project this complicated would have some lofty expectations. First of all, you know, this is a piece of architecture, but it also houses live animals. So it was really important for us to work with the experts to make sure that we were taking into consideration the health and wellness of all the animals. We were also thinking about the conservation mission of the aquarium. The east side of the building reflects our working waterfront that we have here in Seattle. It's got the metal panels and the glass. They were made by the Morin Corporation and they really reflect that industrial history and style. On the west side of the building, there's a public art piece by Dan Friday that uses rich light panels to really express some of the local Coast Salish art. And then the cedar siding is a really important material for the local tribes and it was sourced from tribal forests really to bring economic benefit back to our tribal partners. I can certainly see why you brought me up here. This is spectacular. That's right, you wouldn't expect to see an indigenous garden on the roof of an aquarium. But that was really important for us. We worked with an indigenous botanist named Valerie Seagrest. On this part of the roof, we have a lot of berries, salmon berry, coastal strawberry, all kinds of things that the kids in the Pacific Northwest would know and they'd pick as they go on hikes <laughs> in the region. So it's pretty cool. Well, and I'm also seeing this interesting pattern on the walkway. That's right, we also work with our tribal patterns on various themes about harvesting. Right here, this tells the story of the mudflats that used to be here and the shellfish, the oysters, the cockles, the gooey ducks. And the idea of this roof was all about storytelling and stitching those pieces together. So we're connecting people to our local waterways, the Salish Sea and the broader Pacific Ocean. But inside the building, we're connecting people to the conservation work that the Seattle Aquarium is doing across the Pacific Ocean in the Coral Triangle. We wanted everybody on the waterfront, millions of people, to feel invited to participate in what goes on in the aquarium. And one of my favorite design choices to do that is right here overhead. Oh, wow! This is an 18-foot diameter window into the habitat that is at the heart of the whole building experience. Likewise, it rains in Seattle. <laughs> so we wanted to provide a place of protection with overhead cover <laughs> And so this big porch is a gathering space. This is the reason for the shape of this building. This habitat is what we saw on the underside of the building? Exactly, this habitat is at the heart of the entire form of the building. And this habitat was configured in a way that we're designing for the health of the animals. For example, there are black tip reef sharks that will cruise around the broad dimensions at the high part of this habitat. There are other animals that will come deep into this part of the habitat. There are nooks and crannies around that will support the health of a variety of animals. It's almost as if the fish were your clients. They were our clients. And what we were designing for was an opportunity to create a healthy habitat for the animals and an opportunity for humans to learn and engage this habitat uh, as an experience in that building. Not only are we connecting that experience of humans in space and the visual connection, but the technical systems of the building are also connected. The energy systems that are conditioning the water that's in this habitat are interconnected with the air systems that are conditioning the airs for the humans. So that it's a very energy efficient and sustainable design strategy. This 
space is really different. It's unlike anything I've ever seen in an aquarium. This is One Ocean Hall. This is the central gathering spot of the building that we designed in collaboration with Tom Hennis, our exhibit designer from Think Design. And we really wanted, you know, at the heart of the building is this human to human connection is kind of this theater in the round because this is a place for telling stories. You can see it's surrounded by projections. So the building primarily focuses on Indo-Pacific, but these projections that go all the way around the space are really a tool to help take visitors to other places throughout the ocean. And you'll notice along the edge, we have this custom bench so we designed this and we actually fabricated it in-house and we meant for it to be kind of this coral reef for people to perch and rest throughout their visit yeah and I can even feel the grooves in the bench so it's not only a tactile experience but a visual one I mean it's almost as if we're sitting at the bottom of the ocean yeah we really wanted to immerse visitors in every way possible and really support the aquarium's mission which is to inspire conservation of our marine environment It's clear that you all have really achieved something special here. The project really pushed us. We have a lot to think about, how to stitch the project into our new waterfront, um, but also thinking about how to create a design that not only honored place, but also connected everybody to the Salish Sea and to the ocean beyond. We learned so much on this project about just, you know, different material applications, specifically eco surfaces by Ecor helped us with all the non-slip surfaces for the scuba divers access. And then Reynolds Polymer helped us design and calculate all of those acrylic windows into the habitats. This mission of the aquarium of conserving the health of the ocean becomes the mission of our community when we're making it such an important part of this great civic place. This project is enriching the city and it's advancing the mission which we share with allies all around the world it was a really inspiring part of this project. <laughs>